Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel, not even just feel, I have not filmed with my backdrops in so long because you guys know this is a lot of equipment and I'm limited space right now. So yeah, it took me quite some time to set up, but I really missed filming with my backdrops. If you guys couldn't tell, I got another color to add to my collection. I love yellow. And yeah, so, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powders. I've seen a lot of people side-eyeing and, you know, we're going to get into all of that. So let me just show you all the packaging real quick before we get into this. This is the PDR packaging that I got and obviously other influencers got for the setting powders. So Huda came out with some Easy Bake Loose Setting Powders with eight shades, which I must say is it's really good. I don't know a lot of makeup brands that have setting powders or baking powders with eight shades or even just launch with eight shades, you know, right off the bat. So I'm, I'm always here for variety, even if they don't always get it right. As long as a brand is trying to be inclusive, I'm all, I'm all here for it. You know, that's the first step to, to anything. And then we can talk about how it works. But yeah, so these setting powders are for fair to rich tones. The first two would be for if you are on the fair side. The next two after that would be if you were more on the neutral side or if you're looking for more of a neutral setting powder. The next two are going into the golden side of the color spectrum or the golden side of undertones, I should say, or skin tone. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> and then the last two are, obviously you're getting into more of the richer, deep skin tones. I used both Blondie and Kunafa. Um, in this review, I did one on each side of my face so you guys can see. Alrighty. So, this is the PR package that showed up at my door last night. And this packaging is really cute. We got the nutrition facts. 100% easy to use, 100% long wearing, 100% locked in matte powders. Powers? Powers. Either it was a typo where they actually meant powers, but it says locked in matte powers. Total glow, 100%. Okay. There's 100 grams of mattifying AF. We got uh, 70 grams of pore minimizing and 40 grams of radiance levels. And oh, check this. 0% of flashback levels. So, I'm, just, I'm gonna hold you to that. But, um, although this packaging, as you guys can see, is very, very cute, it does, and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably, well, I've seen a lot of people talking about the Easy Bake Loose Powders. What a lot of people have been saying is that they copied Beauty Bakery's flower setting powder. The packaging, is very similar, like it's a, a cake mix box. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up on the screen because I personally don't own the Beauty Bakery flower setting powder, but the packaging that the flower setting powder comes in um, is, it's like a cake mix box, just like this one. I'm just gonna read like the little cute things on the box because you know, why not? This is gonna tell us about the product that we're about to use anyway. So it says it improves your selfie game by 1990%. Keeps makeup in place, absorbs shine, no flashback, and enriched with vitamin E. And um, it also says best served with, that's cute, best served with bake and blend brush. Um, there's some tips on the back as well. Like I really just wanna get into using the setting batters. I wanna go ahead and start highlighting. By the way, guys, I did my entire face, as you can see. Yeah. These are the setting powders. The first one is sugar cookie. As you guys can see, it is very, very white, so I'm definitely not using this one. But obviously, if you are more on the, not more, if you are on the fair, more pale side, then this is definitely your kind of your shade. The next one is Cupcake. This one has a little bit more of a pink undertone. It's still very light, but compared to Sugar Cookie, you guys can definitely see that difference. Pound Cake. Beside Cupcake, this is what Pound Cake looks like. Here's Pound Cake, and here is Banana Bread. So we're getting more into like the yellow undertones. I feel like I would start at this shade. I probably would not use, I could use Pound Cake, 
but honestly keeping it real like I'm I'm I have a yellow undertone so I like my setting powders to be yellow I always use the Ben Nye banana powder or the cover effects one in translucent light which is like it kind of reminds me of like banana bread honestly and then we have the next one which is blondie and the next one is kunafa and this one is like a true golden yellow in comparison to blondie this is what kunafa looks like the next one is cinnamon bun beside kunafa this is definitely getting into like the more warm deep tones and then last but not least we got coffee cake and beside cinnamon bun this is the difference so for me I'm feel like I'm comfortable with using anything between these three shades anything lighter gives me anxiety anything darker obviously is going to counteract the purpose of me highlighting it's gonna make my highlight look darker like if I have any smile lines right now it's because my foundation has been on for over an hour. But I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Full Coverage Concealer and I'm in Medium Dark Warm. And this concealer, if you guys don't already know, is Full Coverage AF, so. And she's a thick one. So. Yeah, I'm starting, to, I'm starting to crease now, if you guys see that. All right, so what time to head to the bakery, pull out a baking powder. You guys, I honestly don't know which one I wanna use. The fact that I have options though, like I like that. Usually I don't have options, it's either I'm using a translucent because that's all that's available, or I'm using translucent light, or like this. But it's not from the same brand, you know what I'm saying? It's usually like, this brand has this, this brand has that one. Or I'm using something that looks like starch. That's how it opens, and then just peel this off, or open. Ooh, okay. <gasps> Shit, I got it on my sweatpants. So there's like a little, I think you call this a sift, or not sure what it is, but there's a net inside right there, and when you pounce on it, the powder like seeps through the holes. As you guys know, setting powder can get really, really, really messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out any creasing I may have. So I was gonna use my beauty blender, like I always do, to apply the setting powder, but I'm not going to for two reasons. One, it's still wet, and um, if you don't know, when you have a wet sponge or if it's too wet, there's like any little bit of excess water, and you apply setting powder, it's gonna start to clump. We obviously don't want that, especially right now. And also, I mean, it did come with a brush, so if any of you guys are interested in seeing how effective the brush is, I'm also going to just use that so you can see. So on this side of my under eye, I'm going to use Blondie. I'm just going to tap, that's a lot. I'm going to tap a light amount off and just go ahead and apply that. If you've smelt the, the primer, this smells very similar i want to say exactly like if not like a little bit off but it smells pretty much just like the huda beauty primer that comes with the full filter foundation okay i'm gonna keep tapping that then we're gonna go in with kunafa on the other side As usual, I would carve out my contour or clean up my contour. So I'm gonna use, now I'm gonna use my beauty blender. And then this side, I'm gonna use Blondie. Anyways, I just realized also I didn't do the bridge of my nose like I normally do. So I'm just gonna set right there. Because of course I did highlight. But other than the bridge of my nose, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep off the setting powder. I'm gonna use the angled side. Okay. Sometimes when I carve my cheekbones, as soon as I like dust away the powder, you can still kind of see the harsh line, and I don't see a harsh line at all. This is already looking good. I did add a little bit more of each color on each side 
with the sponge now that it's a little bit dry because I realized this is not how I usually bake or before it wasn't how I usually bake. I go a little heavy with the setting powder sometimes so I have to just, you know, do what I normally do. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just dust down, dust down, <laughs> dust off the powder off the bridge of my nose. Well, I'm going to go in with the Pixie Glow Mist and I'm going to go ahead and just spray my face. Okay, let that dry in. So far, you guys, it's looking good. Like I already, I don't have uh, any visible flashback. Obviously, we're gonna check about the flash. We're gonna check the flashback after, but and let me just say this: just because you see a yellow setting powder doesn't automatically mean it's gonna be good for somebody with a golden undertone. Um, because it can also depend on the formula. Um, what I mean by that is, yes, this color could be amazing for somebody of my shade or anybody with like a golden yellow undertone. But sometimes I've used uh, yellow setting powders like the Ruby Kisses one. Ruby Kisses, let me just say, Ruby Kisses has amazing affordable makeup. When I first started wearing makeup, that's what I was wearing because that's all I could afford. But their setting powder is, I think that's the worst setting powder I've ever I, it's the worst setting powder that I've ever tried. I even like I got the white one and it was it was like starch. I got the yellow one and it, I was better off using the white one honestly. It was and it was yellow like blondy I want to say or like a mix of these two and after dusting it off like it it was not dusting off like my entire under eye my entire face was just like yellow. Basically, like it left all the residue all over my face. And when I used flash, let me tell you, I, don't, I can't even tell you what I look like. It was just, it was atrocious. It was, it's, it was one of those ones. If you're thinking about what it probably looked like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those pictures with the flash pack, and you're like, you should, like your friends should have not ever let you out the house. So, uh, anyway, so guys, this is what it looks like. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm a little curious to see how cinnamon bun looks like around the foundation area of my face. Like if I wanted to use it to set my foundation, I want to see the, well first of all, let me see the color, like how, okay. Now I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to use this brush. Looks like on my hand, which as you guys can see, it looks pretty close to my skin color. I can't get over the smell like I'm used to it with the primer because the primer smells pretty much exactly the same however because it's powder and I'm dusting it and it's flying everywhere I'm not just smelling it once I'm smelling it like <laughs> left right center it's, it's strong it's not too strong like I can bear it but if you're somebody that does not do well with fragrance or certain type of fragrances you might not like this honestly and I'm just gonna like so the outer area okay this thing let me say you guys it's messy I've never had a translucent powder that's not messy so I guess it's whatever the little net in the middle that it comes with makes it a lot easier because that wasn't there it'd be everywhere but even still like just know with translucent powder or setting powder you're gonna get mess like period so don't be like me and wear one of your favorite pair of track pants while doing your makeup that was stupid all right guys so i'm back and decided to just leave my hair as is i'm not going anywhere so you know it doesn't matter just need to you know film the outro to this video my review so all in all i really like these powders like the finish like if you guys know how the urban decay all-nighter concealer is it's very full coverage very thick very thick and sometimes it can get really drying and I used a good amount of setting powder I used the amount that I normally use like sometimes with the cover effects I can be a little bit heavy-handed and that will make my under eyes look a little bit dry and I don't have that like dry cakey under eye right here. It's not my entire under eye that looks dry when I use um, the other powders, but it's like, you guys know what I'm talking about, like right in the crease, it looks very dry. If we can get any closer, let me show you guys. 
my mustache and everything, but you guys can see how that setting powder looks on my skin. Again, I applied Blondie on this side, Kunafa on this side, which was the one that was a little bit more yellow golden. This one was a little bit of a paler yellow, if that makes sense. And I actually really, really like these setting powders. Really like them. The, the only thing I don't like and I wish... Let me zoom back out. The only thing I don't like and that I wish they didn't do was kind of bite off of a beauty bakeries because I mean regardless I will say I don't think this kind of packaging is any way or reminds me any in any way of the beauty bakery flower powder but the actual visuals like the campaign that I was seeing for Huda Beauty with the whole baking concept the whole flower and on top of that you guys already know beauty bakery is already like what that brand is known for is like bakery things so how I see it as well as like baking powder like it's it's super cute but I mean there's already a brand that has already used this concept so I don't think that was the greatest idea but other than that you guys the powder like you know for products good I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep it real you guys can see for yourself the powder looks really good that's why when I first saw the campaign for Huda Beauty I didn't think of Beauty Bakery right away because I was like baking powder okay like this is cute did some research and again I when I actually saw the box I was like oh that looks I feel like I've seen that before but other than that the actual product itself is really good of course I'm going to keep using it and keep you guys updated because um, you know like I want to see how it works over time we're just gonna quickly test out the flashback and see what it's looking like I gotta take one more just because it, it's it's kind of far. Let's like get all up in there. I also have all these lights. I feel like I should turn a little bit. Let's take a few. Okay, other than the fact that my brows are way too thick, <laughs> the uh, flashback looks. There's no flashback. Yeah, so uh, I guess that's it. There's no flashback, so uh, I can definitely, I can definitely get with this powder. The brush, you guys, honestly, you don't need it, but um, it, it, like, it, it was useful. And I like that it's double sided. I personally, I would probably just stick to my beauty blender just because that's what I use, and I ended up using it anyways. Um, but if you are looking for a good double sided bake and blend brush. This is a pretty good one. You don't need it though, so. Apart from, you know, the actual effectiveness of the powder, I'm really happy about the variety of shades that they have for the powders. Not like a second launch, like this is like an initial launch for the baking powders, and right off the bat, we already have eight shades, which is really, really good. I will say though, there's only two deep shades, but I feel like, of course, I can't, tested out on myself for highlighted areas, but I really do want to see some deeper and richer skin-toned women film a review using the powder so we can, of course, see how they look on them. And not to mention, for somebody that applied foundation about three and a half, four hours ago, my smile lines look fine, my under eyes aren't dry at all, my highlight looks good. So yeah, these powders work really, really good. They're bomb. I'll say that, Huda, you did that. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that is everything for this review on the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powders. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, how this looks. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy watching it, and I will see you guys in my next video. And also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, that is it. Like, actually, so. I'll see you guys in, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> and ooh, like a cream. You guys, it's really hard to get out of the packaging. I don't know why it like, it's like, it's, damn. <laughs> Am I supposed to use these or, damn, okay. So good. Woo, I just hurt myself. I got a boo-boo. <laughs> Okay.
then we have two more left. We got cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Why can I say cinnamon? Cinnamon bun. There's a banana bread. Pound cake. You wish I was your pound cake. It literally says, no, it doesn't. Anyways, I didn't bring the brush to contour my nose down here. So we're just going to ooh, see what happens. This should be a sin, but you know what? <laughs> Makeup has no rules. I mean, my face is already set, but. Anyways. Okay, yeah, I look super glowy. <laughs> I love it. Just a music bump in. 